So the first thing I, I often do, and that's where people need to have a printout of what we're going to draw, and people can choose what they like to draw. So in order to draw, uh, this has both an element of decoration, like in the organic element of the leaves, and also an element of let what is called lettering, which is today is what there are fonts for the computer. So when I do it, something like this, I actually draw on the paper first. I can enclose the B in some sort of rectangle, like this shape here. And you can see that uh, from this element to here, there is another line, which I'm going to cut it. And then there is the trunk of the B, which I'm going to use that. And then the size of the B, the internal part of the B, the round, the round part. Although uh, you can see it's a little bit offset compared, this is a little to the right, and this is a little more centered, but I, I don't worry about that. So I will reproduce the same thing here. And when you sketch, it's important to, to be light because you don't want to commit yet to the, yet to the drawing. And then you can see this is the trunk I was talking about. Then you need to find the middle part of the B. So we're gonna be, let's say, like here. And then there will be the round part at the end here. I will do it the same, the same level, both the round parts of the B. Then there is this element which turn here. The foot, you might say, especially in the bottom part, is called the foot of the B. Going a little stronger because I already know that's what I want. But the, when we sketch, we, it's better to be always light. We put a little bit of thickness here, so we do a very light lines like that. We go a line above the middle center just a little bit and, up, and below. And then we do the bottom part. Then there will be the round part, which matches this part. Turn like that. Then like that and I already have the B I'm not going to draw it yet strongly because we have some floral element we actually go some from in front of the of the B in this case they are as I said they are organic they mimic uh, plants and things like that when you draw something like this you really want to understand the shape how it just as in nature from a trunk goes into a small trunk and then to a small trunk to a branch and from a branch to a small branch and from a small, small branch to a leaf. Same thing is here. You can see that this is the leader. Keeps on going the leader like this and then like that. So here there would be the main trunk, the main direction divides here and gives us this element. This is actually this sort of a flower which I'm going to draw, draw it as in a fan shape, like a trumpet. So you can see that it starts from this point. So we will draw that. You can see that turns right there. And then turns right here. Goes around the B, something like that. And then it will turn something like that. So as a result of warming up, you can see that my hand now is starting to float a little bit on the paper. So this is a sign that I'm starting to be a little warm up the way I draw. And then you have this division here, right there, which turns. When you draw, that's another thing important. You don't break the lines. So in other words, I will draw on top of the B and here too, even though in this case it goes below the B. Because you don't want to have a situation where you break here and then you go here, but it's not straight, yes? You always want to draw the whole thing. And then when you finish, you just erase. Of course, not with this. I'm going to erase this one right there. So we will draw this other size of this, this division, which goes like that and turn. And then I can start to draw already the, 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 the trumpet we spoke about. So you have to imagine that it goes a little bit like that and then go 
goes like that. I mean, when I do this, as I said, I imagine this as one unit. After that, I will do the details inside, but this is more or less the structure of this element. As much as in this case, the structure is something like that. This will be the trumpet here, and then it goes right there. So then we have another trumpet that goes like that. and then turns like that then we have another one that goes like that and like that so you can see the importance of sketching seems to be a little messy but it will actually come up to the correct drawing so same thing is with this this is gonna turn and we will have another trumpet right here. And what is interesting is there is a leaf right there which connects to the beginning, something like that. So you can see there is a certain flaw in the drone. Now we can finalize a little bit the leaf. So now when I do the leaf, in this case, let's start with this one. You can see I make this as one again, just something like that. And then I do this as one. After that, I make the divisions in the leaf. I can start to commit a little bit because I know what I'm doing. And then in the end, you will have the seed of the flower, which goes in three, one, two, and three, one in the middle. And then you have this other element, which ends with the sort of a flower, which I can do in this shape. So it's gonna be something like that. And then you separate inside turns it's gonna be something like that actually you can fix it and that will be this element the artist did um, we can do this other flower or decorative element so again there is an element that goes like that and there is one that goes like that. I'm going to go a little, bit, a little more inside. And then after it, we can do this. And this is going on top of the B. So I can actually draw it harder. And then it will be erased. Same thing is here. And then you can add another one. So the point is, of course, not to do a perfect drawing of it, and that's where your own interpretation comes in. Otherwise, there is no need to, to draw it, you can just print it out. And then you have these lines which stops here, which gives rise to the other uh, flower. This line continue here, but in this case it goes below and we can break it because we know where it goes. And now I can make a little stronger the B. In other words, I can start to commit. I'm going to round this up. It's nice. And then turn this. So far there are no elements that goes on top of the B, it was only this one. So this can be stronger, and this can be stronger here. This we give, it's below the stem of the flower.
we can draw this one. It goes like that. And make it a little stronger. And then you can do all these little things. It's up to you the way you want to do it. You can do even little spirals. And then we do this row right here. Again, I use the same process. I divide it into two main leaves. And then the middle one right there, in this case I'm going to put one in the middle of each. There's gonna be something like that. So now I'm not going to go over the whole thing. For now we'll just shade a little bit the, the B. You can use your own way to shade. When I usually shade, I usually hold my pencil like this. I found that you have a little, you can be as light as, uh, it, you can be more light than when you hold it closer to the tip. Some people like to smudge, I don't like to smudge, but there are actually blenders that you can do that. And then I go back and I get stronger. And of course we can eliminate the, what we don't want with the pencil. right there and you can do a little bit of shading like that I mean it's up to you really and so this is essential the the process I'm not going to go too much into details but that's the, the essential uh, way to do it anyway thank you for watching see you next time